Hey guys, Dan's here today. I just want to talk about my this my need for speed review. And yeah, so we'll gain this. I'm gonna do probably do a race while at all. Hopefully you'll like the video and yeah, let's go on with it. So with this game, I think I th I'd recommend this game to anyone of the friends that play games. Because it seems fun to get into and it's just if you like cars then it'll match your criteria because all the upgrades and things just seem outstanding. Just shows what new speed can actually do and what EA games are capable of bringing to us. Hopefully in the future we'll get a lot more games like this. Focusing oh, in the wrong size, I can't say much. Yes. Oh fuck. So you tune your cars the way you want to, so if like, you feel the handle a bit heavy and you get understeer, you can adjust it a bit more so it's so your car so it, so it starts to become your own. Until so you're happy with your final product and then you should be able to compete with a lot of other races like online players and stuff. Because then, because you'll know your grip of your car and they won't be able to keep up with as long as you're a half decent driver. You'll be able to match your cars the way you drive. Which I think is a very good feature. When you have to edit the cars and the tire pressure and everything. And even the stance. The stance of the cars is quite good. Where you're allowed to camber your wheels. And lower your whole road height. Seems really good to me in my opinion. I'd recommend anyone to get this game. as If you like cars. Obviously if you don't like cars you're not going to purchase this game. So let's do this sprint race that I've got here. See how this goes. I really enjoy the story as well, it's a really good storyline. So I recommend everyone getting on with their story. Just to complete it because it's a really good and entertaining storyline that they've got set up to this. Good. So hopefully we can win this one. My car at the moment's on 700 and something brake, I think it is. The horsepower. Which isn't too bad, this hits comfortably at 200 miles an hour. Come on, these are quite quick. The story mode can be quite challenging. But it's good because it helps you with gaining experience in the game and learning a bit more. Like you can't just jump straight into it, expect to be brilliant. You have to get used to the driving handling. Which is quite cool. Because then you don't, you don't want like a rank 1 driving faster and being awesome at the game. But that will happen if someone creates like a new account or something. But still then they won't even have the body mods or anything to unlock. So yeah, it's worth and getting involved in this game and even just chilling with your friends and cruising in just feels really nice because you get to compare how fast each other's cars are and you get to show off yourselves and even the rap editor oh, I love the rap editor like I've made this rap all on my own and I like it. I really, really like doing it and apparently we're going to get the mirror soon so rather than me having to do both sides individually I'll just be able to do the one side and then paste it on the other side so I'll be able to make some more better wraps than what I've done which I'm looking forward to oh, I'll just lean fast the police aren't really difficult on this game but once you get to like a higher star they become a bit more challenging and that's the roadblocks can be a bit annoying and I honestly don't, I don't think they're we might win this race if we can catch you. And I'll make it look so we're not going to win. If I see the police blocking up on the roads. Another roadblock. Not mine. Yeah, I've been playing this game quite a lot. I'm now like rank 49, I think, nearly rank 50. 
I don't know what the max rank is yet. But if I find out, I'll, have, I'll let you guys know. And yeah, I'm going to try and start posting a lot more because I've only been posting once a week. And I feel I should be posting a lot more than that because once a week just doesn't seem enough to me. And I know I can produce more content. Oh. And the drifting side of things, it's quite nice to do. It's, uh, it seems like the computer's doing a lot for you if your car's not tuned right. Because you feel like your car's just sliding and you're not doing it, you can't do nothing about it. But once you've set up your right tunes, I think you've got full control over your car pretty much. And it's a really enjoyable game then. The, the cops are a bit irritating because you catch up and then they'll block you off sometimes if you've got the police. But I am on like forced for flame thing. And I can't see me catch one if I catch you. Yeah, as you can probably tell, I don't really like losing much. But, oh, well, I guess we just have to replay afterwards. I've been playing the game since it came out. And I really, really like it. Cruise, I think the cruise ever than that oh, the extension pack, aren't they? So I'll probably get that done if I buy, if I get that extension pack. It just depends on what happens whether I get it or not. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna finish in third in the I just have to do it again another time. So yeah. So thanks for watching guys and that's my opinion on this game and hopefully I'll see you again in another video and I'm out.